Number seven, Lawrence Rudolph. Pennsylvania dentist Lawrence Rudolph went on a hunting trip to Zambia with his wife, Bianca, in October of 2016. They were both described as avid hunters, and it was mentioned in later reports that they'd gone on the African safari so that Bianca would have the opportunity to kill a leopard. On the morning of October the 11th, a group of the safari's gamekeepers and scouts heard the sound of a gunshot coming from the Rudolph's cabin. Upon investigating the noise, they reportedly came upon Bianca's lifeless body lying on the ground after she'd suffered a gunshot wound to the chest. Her husband told the gamekeepers that he was in the bathroom when he heard Bianca's Browning 12-gauge shotgun discharge. Rudolph repeated the narrative while being questioned by local police. Zambian authorities believed his version of events through which the dentist maintained that his wife had accidentally shot herself while packing up for their day of hunting. Rudolph was thus allowed to travel back to the United States, at which point he resumed his relationship with an unidentified mistress whom he'd allegedly been dating for years. In the weeks following his wife's untimely death, Rudolph claimed seven payouts from life insurance policies he'd taken out with multiple different companies in various states. In total, the dentist received approximately $4.8 million as a result of Bianca's passing. The FBI revealed the potentially inculpatory aspect that Rudolph had met up with another romantic partner of his in Las Vegas the day after his wife's funeral. Three years later, investigators learned that one of the employees at Rudolph's dental practice had told her co-workers that she'd been in a secret relationship with the man for nearly two decades. She'd also disclosed that she'd given Rudolph an ultimatum to leave his wife in the months leading up to her death in December of 2021. The dentist was arrested in Cabo San Lucas following the culmination of a five-year investigation by the FBI. Rudolph was formally charged with foreign murder and wire fraud for allegedly gunning down his wife in order to cash out her life insurance policies and continue his relationship with his long-time mistress. Number 6. Scott Sharmoli after Scott Shamoli had sold Jackson Family Dentistry in 2019, the practice's new owner quickly realized that something wasn't right about the business's records. According to Shamoli's files, the dentist who operated out of Grafton, Wisconsin, had performed more than 30 crown procedures for every 100 patients, an exorbitant rate that reportedly exceeded the state average roughly fivefold. The new business owner reported the suspiciously high numbers to the authorities prompting an extensive investigation into Sharmoli's activities while at the helm of Jackson Family Dentistry. It subsequently emerged that the former dentist had regularly falsified his patients' medical records and x-ray results in order to convince them that they needed unnecessary tooth fillings. In many cases, 61-year-old Sharmoli had intentionally damaged or drilled holes in his patients' teeth so that he could charge them considerable fees to repair them. The Washington Post reported that during a 20-month period from January of 2018 to August of 2019, Sharmoli had performed over 1,600 fraudulent crown installations, which brought in millions of dollars to his practice. By the end of 2020, the dentist had an estimated net worth of $6.8 million, largely due to the money he had obtained through his predatory and deceptive scheme. In March of 2022, it was reported that Sharmoli had been convicted on five counts of healthcare fraud and two counts of making a false statement. He also became the subject of a malpractice lawsuit filed by nearly 100 of his former patients. The civil litigation was reportedly put on hold pending Sharmoli's criminal sentencing, which was scheduled for June of 2022. Number five, Harley Rodriguez Bonilla. On February the 21st of 2020, undercover officers in Texas made an appointment to see a dentist named Harley Rodriguez Bonilla, who was suspected of operating his practice without a license. Consequently, an investigator posing as a customer went to Rodriguez Bonilla's office, which was located inside the man's townhome. The officer waited in the living room until an assistant took them upstairs. The 41-year-old dentist had reportedly outfitted one of his bedrooms with an array of professional dental equipment and an examination table. Shortly after the sting operation, which had been disguised as an appointment for one of the officers to get a set of dentures fitted, Rodriguez Bonilla was taken into custody and charged with practicing unlicensed dentistry. Investigators spoke with one of the man's patients, who claimed to have been charged $3,800 for the fitting of upper and lower veneers. Once in police custody, Rodriguez Bonilla confessed to also performing unlicensed dental work in California and Florida. His bond was reportedly set at $25,000. Number 4. Donald Dinello Jr. 
In March of 2013, it was reported that Donald Danello Jr., a dentist at Oral Surgery Associates in Dauphin County, Pennsylvania, had been taken into the custody of state narcotics agents. The 45-year-old's arrest followed an extensive investigation by the state attorney general's office. A grand jury ultimately determined that Danello had forged prescriptions for various narcotic substances and stolen thousands of dollars from his own dental practice without his business partner's knowledge. Between 2008 and 2012, the dentist had written at least 88 fraudulent pain medication prescriptions for fictitious patients. In actuality, Danello allegedly abused the powerful drugs himself, which was why he'd neglected to record the scripts as required by law. Furthermore, Danello was accused of stealing dental supplies from Oral Surgery Associates, which he then sold at a discount rate to another dental office where he'd secretly been working. The grand jury found that the duplicitous dentist had deposited roughly $55,000 of the proceeds from his dental supply sales into his personal bank accounts. Upon his arrest, Danello was charged with several offenses, including falsely prescribing a controlled substance and theft. In July of 2014, he was sentenced to 15 to 30 months in county prison while also being ordered to pay approximately $84,000 in restitution to his former business partner. Number three, Robert Hofstetter. New Jersey dentist Robert Hofstetter, aged 69, was arrested in 2018 after a female employee discovered a camera hidden inside the restroom at his office in Sewell. The man had reportedly placed a miniature pinhole camera in a cardboard box that was positioned on a shelf in the bathroom. Hofstetter was alleged to have used a concealed recording device to capture photographs of unknowing subjects whose intimate parts were exposed. The unnamed woman who'd found the camera was accompanied by several other of the dental office's female employees when she reported her unnerving discovery to local police. After his criminal practices were brought to light, Hofstetter was charged with invasion of privacy, an offense which carries a maximum sentence of one year in jail and a $2,500 fine. When news of the incident was circulated online, many were quick to point out some of the darkly ironic statements on Hofstetter's website, which touted that his office had been equipped with state-of-the-art technology without sacrificing a warm and inviting atmosphere. Number two, Daniel Jacobi. On October the 10th of 2017, an elderly woman was found unconscious inside her home in Beverly Hills, California by her two adult children. Following the arrival of emergency responders, the homeowner was pronounced dead at the scene. An autopsy subsequently determined that she'd been killed by way of strangulation. The Beverly Hills Police Department launched an investigation into the matter, which led them to conclude that the victim's son, 36-year-old Daniel Jacobi, had been responsible for the murder. Although it wasn't revealed what had specifically led to Jacobi being identified as a suspect, the police did indicate that they'd relied on a combination of physical and digital evidence to make their determination. Jacobi, a prominent Southern California dentist who treated a number of celebrity patients in the past, had uploaded a commemorative Facebook post in the wake of his mother's death with the caption that read in part, Mom, I love you and miss you dearly. On February the 12th of 2018, the man was arrested and formally charged with murder. According to the findings of the police's investigation, Jacobi had fatally strangled his mother within 24 hours of the emergency services being called to her home. It was reported that the dentist's motive for committing the murder was financial in nature. During his arraignment, Jacobi entered a plea of not guilty and he was held in custody without bond while awaiting his trial. Number one, James Ryan. A dental surgeon from Montgomery County, Maryland, was arrested by local police as he walked into work at Evolution Oral Surgery in Germantown on March the 22nd of 2022. During a press conference later that day, the authorities detailed how they'd uncovered evidence that Dr. James Ryan had been directly involved in the death of his girlfriend and former patient, Sarah Harris. The latter had passed away on January the 26th after overdosing on prescription drugs that Ryan had provided. The two had first met when 25-year-old Harris went to Evolution Oral Surgery in order to have her wisdom teeth removed. Following the surgical procedure, Ryan had offered her a job and shortly thereafter, they started dating. Detectives recovered text messages shared between the couple that ultimately proved vital 
in their effort to understand what had precipitated the young woman's untimely passing. Investigators found several phone conversations in which Harris had asked for various medications including ketamine, diazepam and propofol, none of which she had a legitimate medical reason for using. Ryan not only gave her the drugs she'd requested, but also allegedly instructed her on how to use them properly and even increased the potency of their effects. The police reported that Harris had been living with Ryan at his home in Clarksburg, and it was also gleaned from their text messages that the young woman had overdosed on another occasion prior to her death. Ryan was ultimately charged with 10 counts, including second-degree murder, and he was held in custody without bond while awaiting his case's legal proceedings. Thanks for watching. Would you rather spend an entire day with a fluoride tray in your mouth or go on a hike in the woods with no shoes? Let us know in the comments section below.